This is Tony, Suzuki Bourbon Channel. I'm here to show you my Icon Mesh Dress. And I'm getting ready to go out and ride in a little bit. As you see, I have my, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, not that one. I'm sorry. My cervical spine ID in here. Just in case emergency come up. Also, I'll show you the back. This is the front. I don't think you can see the full. Okay, this is the back. So I so you can see the rest. Move back. No, but straight. <laughs> okay. And I also want to show. Try to get my shoes in here that's matching my icon. That's best. Okay. I gotta lift my leg because my lumber. I don't know if you can see my shoes, my Nike. <laughs> There it goes. Okay. That hurt, but I did it. So I'm gonna get ready to do a little ride. And I hope I ride safe. Bless me to ride safe. And see you soon. This is Tony Suzuki Bergman Channel. Okay, YouTube, this is Tony Suzuki Bergman channel here. Today, I'm going to give a shout out to some of my, some of my um, YouTube subscribers. The first one is 13, here comes the sun, one of my favorite subscribers. Very nice female rider. Second female rider, biker, is Celestine Brooks. Very nice, polite female. Now I'm getting to the men. Mr. Palomire, he's another Suzuki Bergman rider. The Summerong Cowboy. I've been communicating back and forth with him. For over a year, um, we met up on YouTube, not in person, but on YouTube. Also, we are in the same Suzuki Bergman form.com. I believe that's the site. You got to give a shout out to NT8. Very hilarious man. He is funny. Funny. You have to check out his channel. And my boy Clash 230 Dude is so funny. He put up two videos. I think it was a couple days ago. I put the links on. Subscribing the Suzuki Bergman. I didn't get catch on until the middle of the video. At that point he had me laughing so hard I was crying. I mean I was really crying. I was crying so hard and laughing so hard my mother had to come in the room to find out what's going on. She ended up watching the videos and she was like laughing too. She didn't understand at first but I had to explain to her what was really going on. So, we'll do this little ride here. Catch a little nice day ride. Again, it's in the early evening, 1.15 I believe. That's what my clock says on my Bergman. And my subject today would be how I got started riding motorcycles. First of all, 
in the mid 80s a neighbor of mine a young guy had um a yamaha 175 dirt bike i think you could ride it on the street too we used to go on the dirt hills and ride so i learned he taught me how to you know ride a little bit then i end up teaching myself more he let me borrow his bike take it to my house and that's when we didn't have a pool in the backyard practice back there and then later on my father bought a motorcycle a shadow and he let me ride that now at this time i did not have a motorcycle license or endorsement but i did have my license and then uh, i moved out i say in the mm, late 80s i believe and i ended up buying me an ar80 that was my first personal motorcycle that i purchased and i still didn't have a motorcycle endorsement on my license so with me living in washington dc at the time i went on and took the motorcycle test with the ar80 and it was a breeze i didn't know that test was so easy the lady told me to get on a bike ride them in straight form line ride around some cones do a figure eight and told me to stop and she said okay you pass i said is that it she said you pass i said okay now mind you maryland motorcycle test road test is oh my goodness it's more than excuse me my neck more than driving a car to get your test to take the test and pass it so when i moved back home when i became disabled with my mom i transferred my dc license back over to maryland and they forgot to put my maryland i mean my excuse me my motorcycle endorsement on my license i didn't notice that until probably a month or so after i transferred my license over i went up back up to them um the motor vehicle <laughs> drive motor vehicle administration and explain to them that y'all forgot to put my motorcycle endorsement on my license i had to go back to dc to prove that i had a motorcycle endorsement on my dc license that was hell they put me through so much to get that paperwork but i end up coming back i still had to pay a twenty dollars fee just to add it on there but i got it done so that is how i got to ride motorcycles and i love riding even though i can't ride motorcycles anymore just to my disabilities i love riding my suzuki 650 birdman okay now i gotta think of another topic oh i will think of one soon on the way back down the road i'm gonna stop and get some gas right now i have a little under a half a tank so on here it's three bars so I usually like to have it all the way to full. But you never know. Um, one of our biker members is getting married on Saturday. And a couple of us are going to ride on our bikes up there to su support him. And again, I prayed this morning before I got out of bed. Also prayed, please call them jump out of there. I also prayed before I got on my bike to ride safely, get back home safely. 
as I do always. Now I'm riding down Locker Road. All these pretty, pretty houses around here. I'm just so happy I finally got to get my motor blog in going. Oh, I'm in, I'm on it. No, I'm in a, am I in a turn lane? No, I'm in a turn lane. Turn lane right there. Okay. I might not have to get any gas if you can on. what my needle looks like. On the way back. So as you know, I don't work anymore, so I get my rides in during the day where a lot of my biking members have full-time jobs in the morning, work in the morning. I think two of my biker members work at night. One of them work at night in Baltimore, but he lives out here in Lago. So he stays in Baltimore and comes home on Tuesday nights because he's off Wednesday and Thursdays. So He's been doing a lot of things with his family lately in his meetings. So I just um, ride by myself sometimes. And I got to give a shout out to my biker group, Lager MD Biker Group, on YouTube also. I started that group a couple years ago and I finally got it really going last year where members would continue joining on meetup.com and um i formed that group it used to be lago maryland scooter group because i had a small version scooter that didn't turn out too hot so when i got my bourbon i changed the name to lago md biker group where we won't only just have i didn't just only want it scooters in the group, Bergmans in the group, big massive scooters in the group. How about getting regular motorcycles? Can am. I don't discriminate, so you know I'm a nice young lady. Respectful young lady. And I respect everyone. I don't care what you're riding. I respect everyone. I don't discriminate race, religion, whatever. I love everyone. So, I'm going to take a break of talking for a minute. And if I think of something else to talk about, believe me, I will. I'm thinking. Well, I'm just going to enjoy this ride, the rest of the ride home. I just enjoy this weather. man sitting there texting he has a flip phone texting i know that's kind of difficult let me see if he's going to continue texting he's still texting as you can see the light is yellow and we got a green light he's still sitting there because he's texting <laughs> okay
take him on biker. Let's see if he get a wave. He get a wave. Alrighty. Let's see. We got some bikers out here. Respect this scooter. Ooh, somebody car is smoking. And this stinks. OMG. Whew. Yep. Like I said, some bikers get a wave. Most like respect wave to the Bergmans, the big scooters. She probably didn't know it was a scooter until he passed it. Because the front of the Bergmans look like motorcycles. <laughs> but neck again, sorry. It's kind of windy out, so just gonna take my time. Like I said, Wayne of Buck 30, we're gonna MBA, Motor Vehicle Administration in Largo. Like I said, we're me weighing a butt 30, 134 pounds. And going over 65, 70, the wind pushes me around in this Birdman. I'm gonna go straight down Landover Road, the back way. Yeah, I think I can hold out on some gas right now. Oh, my neck again. There on the right and get ready to pass PG County College, Community College. And as you can see, I got my Nike neon shoes on, matching my icon mesh mill vest. Okay. On the right here is PG Community College. I went there for law enforcement credits, classes. Went there four years, but I didn't graduate because I went part-time four years and I wanted to work. So I went part-time for four years, work while I went to school to go and dropped out of college to work. Think of my old school, Largo High School. Police sitting over there because that school is off the chain now. Off the chain. I'm not in a hurry, so I'll sit behind this truck, ride behind this truck. I feel a headache trying to come on. Did good yesterday. Didn't have to take no injection. Thank God for that. But I pray I hold out today so I don't have to take no injection. I hope I hate these little things in the street. These little lines in the street. Plus the wind is blowing. I try to stay off of them. So to all my subscribers, I really appreciate you supporting me and subscribing to my channel. As I have supported you and subscribed to your channel. And I pray that I get more subscribers. anybody has any comments or questions to ask me feel free feel free plus if you have any ideas of any motor blog motor vlogging that you'd like for me to do also feel free to let me know give me something to talk about so when I ride I don't have to think about what to talk about I guess from my last couple of motor vlogs, 
you all have found out a little bit about myself. Uh, a couple of motor vlogs I did. One of my explained how I became disabled. This motor vlog I explain how I started out riding motorcycles and how I got my motorcycle endorsement. So, anything that you want to know, let me know. And I wish all of us, all the subscribers can get together and ride together. That'd be really nice. But, ah, that's impossible because you have, <laughs> most of uh, most, most of you all live in other countries and other states it's my turn other states and I can't travel long on a bike because of my disabilities unless I stop a uh, hundred times <laughs> so well, maybe one of uh, red, yellow light maybe a lot of us that live close not too from far from state to state and hook up you know ride get to know each other I'm a friendly person you know I'm not one of them crazy people I'm a laid-back person state of myself <sighs> and I love watching videos on YouTube Okay, I'm going 40, you know, I'm a police officer, not trying to get a ticket, and I've never gotten a ticket on my Bergman, but I have gotten tickets in my mom's van, <laughs> not knowing where the light speed, I mean, the speed camera lights were on school, in school zones, but over here, I mean, I know now from the way I got tickets from, so, like this one up here, and there go my church. I don't go to church every Sunday, every day. I go to church sometimes, okay, see, school zone photo enforcement, 35, 35 mile double fines, and that is First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, FBCG. Pastor Jenkins. Yes. I love that man. Yeah, just let the buses. I see they're together, so I just let the buses go. Now, the camera is up here somewhere. Okay, they must have took it down because it, oh, here it is, it's up here. On the left hand side, and I'm going 33 now. I was going 36. Don't want to take any chances. Here's the light right, the camera right there. Right there. All right. Okay. in the school zone so I can go now yeah I can hold out getting gas it's one thing about the Bergmans if you go to speed limit or below you won't use too much gas here now that was a nice little ride it's 
so this is going to be the end of my motor vlogging for today so you all be safe ride safe respect all bikers much love to you all from Tony Suzuki Bergman if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so have a good day